guys this is art lero elena and uh, i wanted to share with you today how i uh, painted over my uh, gas uh, bag uh, i uh, was uh, having this idea and actually i did bought the bag uh, the purse uh, just for uh, that with this black uh, screen um, black pocket to paint over it uh, but I couldn't decide which uh, what I want to paint so I uh, was thinking uh, to do the tiger and uh, then uh, yesterday I was uh, trying to see something was holding me from doing it so I decided to do the abstract painting with my uh, stripy tentacles and my bubbles of the flowers uh, the only problem i uh, had is that there is there was really hard to sketch on the surface of this purse so i had to uh, right away start painting uh, the the forms basically so I sketched it directly with acrylic. Uh, it was hard to use the pencil, uh, white pencil that I have, doesn't uh, <laughs> didn't, didn't work. So so I think uh, I kind of had the idea how they're gonna look. So I just uh, painted uh, the drawing really fast with some titanium white, and then. Uh, just did the forms and I sketched some bubbles and uh, then I painted uh, everything was painted with titanium white straightly on top of the of the purse and now I started to uh, paint my uh, red stripes and I have a cadmium red uh, acrylic to do them I use a little bit different color this time um, for red I was trying cadmium red uh, and as you can see now um, I skipped the stage where I painted painted the flowers inside of my bubbles because the it's uh, really detailed work and it was really hard to record for me so i decided just to do them separately and then record after so also i'm using yellow ochre uh, acrylic uh, to shape uh, the shadows on my uh, tentacles and on my bubbles just uh, loosely have some edges with yellow ochre around uh, the bubbles and around the tentacles and i'm trying to uh, dilute it with water to make it more uh, transparent because uh, uh, it's kind of have very good coverage so and i'm trying not to touch my flowers inside the bubbles so you can have the see-through effect and some of the bubbles i uh, started to add the little ones just straightly with uh, yellow ochre from the tube just add them here and there and highlight uh, the edges of the existing ones as you can see this uh, this the whole thing took me like one evening from start to finish uh, this was really fast because it's small and it's a kind of abstract thing so you don't have to uh, you can be free to decide what you want and uh, actually I like the uh, effect uh, how it looks like so uh, now I'm just trying to highlight the edges so as you can see the bottom of the bubble and I'm gonna have the light coming on top of it so I have to highlight uh, 
the these bottom sides to make them pop out like they float in the air and to make them more look more transparent so it, it it's also a kind of detailed work it's it was a little bit harder to do it uh, to when and record it uh, actually it, it has to be done a little bit more closely for me so see I'm adding the highlights and the bubbles so now they look more three-dimensional more alive basically and I'm just uh, keep adding decide to add some some bubble inside of the bubble and I was considering to make more of them but then I was uh, decided to stop you know because you have to stop at some point so you can continue doing it and doing it and doing it but and I decided to add uh, with titanium white a little bit more of the bottom like some kind of lines to make them more interesting more interesting and of course to add more bubbles and I was looking for uh, to leave more dark space in this uh, which corner is it was it right corner for me so um, but then I, I <laughs> I see I think I already did it a little bit but I think it still kind of looks okay because I was going to the with the triangular kind of um, composition uh, of this but since the bu the bubbles are like more transparent than the shapes uh, then it still looks triangular because you know because they the the big things pop out more and bubbles kind of like uh not con not having a very bright contrast with the dark underground yeah so i i keep adding the small ones little ones and adding some highlights this is uh, really fun for me to do those because uh, I like how they look in the end. Uh, I like the glittery, transparent uh, stuff. I like glass, like effects and stuff. So, but uh, so see, this is the end result. This is how my bag looks like now and uh, I added some uh, a little bit more of highlights and little bit more shadows uh, in the end too but this is the end result if you like it uh, leave, give me some comments please subscribe to my channel share it with other people thank you bye